Hello everyone, so today we're going to talk about the value added tax or VAT refund and this applies to people who are not from the EU or uh, not from London or Paris if you're traveling there and you can get your uh, tax refund via Global Blue which is one of the uh, I think two main companies that you uh, get your tax refund from. The other envelope looks like this and there's also the premier tax free different envelopes. So you might be curious, how does this whole thing work? So basically, if you're a tourist uh, traveling to London or Paris, the sales associates, they probably know that you're a tourist from like their experience. And when you pay for something, they're going to ask you, do you need a tax refund? And if you're a tourist, if you're not from the EU, uh, then you can ask for a tax refund. So basically, they'll just give you a form to fill out and you just have to fill out your name, uh, address, and all that uh, just personal information. And after that, they'll give you an envelope with the forms inside and probably also your receipt. And you will just keep this, hold on to this, put this with all your important documents like passports and whatnot and then you'll keep this until the day you leave EU. So for example, if I'm going to London and Paris, I will keep it until my like final destination before leaving the EU. So uh, if London is my last destination, if London is the point that I leave the EU and go from London to LA, then I'll keep all these uh, envelopes until the very last day and I will find a booth at the airport to send these out. So when you get to the airport, you can ask around, but usually there are big signs that says tax refund, and you just go to there, you ask the staff, and you just give them all these forms that you accumulated throughout your trip, and they will look into them, and they will process your forms. Usually for smaller items, and I'm talking about maybe under 4,000, they're not going to look at the item. Don't take this for granted because they can change your rules. I recommend you to put all your major purchases and all the purchases that you need VAT refund into your carry-on because it is possible that they ask to see them, and they have to be unused and open, of course. And so. When I got my Birkin, I remember this was the only item that they had to see, and it was because it's uh, over four thousand dollars or four thousand pounds. So they wanted to see my Birkin, so I had it pretty handy in my carry-on, and I just went to I think the second floor, uh, a little corner in the second floor, and I just showed them my Birkin, and they were pretty quick about it I just had to wait in line and when they asked to see my Birkin I just showed them and they're just like okay and I got a stamp on my uh, form or receipt and that stamp allows me to mail in my folder for a tax refund so the overall process I would say is pretty simple another aspect is when you're entering the United States you have to declare how many items you bought and I strongly suggest you to be completely completely honest there are forms out there that tell you to lie about these kind of things but I am completely against that when I came back to the United States I listed all the things that I bought and I split it between uh, the people who are traveling with me as a family. I strongly suggest you to be completely honest. I've seen stories online about how people lie about the items that they're bringing back to the United States and they get checked and they get fined big time. So I suggest you to be completely honest and of course there are those lucky few uh, who declare everything and it's over the amount that I list over here and they are completely okay they did not have to pay any extra there are lucky people out there I've had good experiences with being honest so I strongly suggest you to be honest I know it might be tempting to save money by not declaring all of the things that you bought but trust me they have ways to tell and if you're caught it's way 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 more severe and I wouldn't suggest you to risk it after you declare everything with the customs officer he or she will decide what's going to happen to you. Uh, sometimes you have to pay via credit card on the spot and other times they just let you go. It really depends on your luck and maybe the mood of your officer, but I just really strongly suggest you to be completely honest. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about VAT tax refund or VAT refund, value added tax refund, 
or customs entering the US from EU, please let me know in the comments section. I know this was kind of a quick video and maybe not as thorough as some other tutorials, but I strongly suggest you to do research on the purse form. There's a lot of good information out there and also ask me questions if you have any in the comments section. I'll try my best to answer them. I'm not a professional. I'm just speaking from my experience. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. See you guys next time. Bye!